What's poppin' everybody? This is Sable Final Four. Got another TCG match with the future deck, Cybernetic Future Cards. Got the whole gang, Iron Crown EX, Miraidon, and the Iron Hands too, the EX and the regular one. I guess only the Iron Valiants are missing. Are there any other like worthwhile um, Iron or Future Pokemon? Whatever. I mean, I've explained why I'm not running Iron Valiant, the small one. I guess the big one too, it could work, but um, you just, I, the deck has primarily lightning energies. I'm running primarily lightning energies in this version. And if I would run that guy, would have to make a different sort of blend and maybe an even blend of psychic energies too. And because I don't really switch around to exploit his ability to put damage counters, I didn't really see the point. He does like 200 for three, which I guess he's the strongest dude. Um, if you if we would focus on that guy, between the tool and all the Iron Crown ZXs, he has the best potential for damage, one hit knockout potential. I mean, 200 is more than 160 that the other guys sort of max out. It can make a big difference with all the add-ons. But I mean, with all the add-ons, it's going to be like, what, 300? So we would still be unable to kill um, one hit kill the stage 3x so yeah it's just not that much point in using it at least in my version okay so we're playing against a roaring moon deck or some kind of roaring moon deck the i guess standard rivalry between these two archetypes all about the future and the ancient modern versus old um this sort of deck, like the future with Miraidon and the Iron Crown, it's just, it plays itself. Uh, there's benefits and drawbacks with decks like these, in my opinion, when the designers make them. They're easy for beginners, but at the same time, they just sort of make the game go into a kind of a crap direction in a way. You know, this sort of automated direction Yu-Gi-Oh is. But I guess that's to say for all the TCGs these days, it's the reality for all of them. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna keep the uh, Iron Hands, the regular one. If this guy's gonna be using the Xs, it makes a good trade-off for me to use this guy to attack. And we get the double energy with the electric generator. That is excellent. And I wanna get a few more Pokemon. Uh, I'll discard the energy. You got to be a little bit careful with the energies because the thing is, I, we do run a lot because of the generator too, so that we hopefully can always at least get one energy when we do it, not miss them. But the reality with this deck and Miraidon too, you can get a little bit carried away as you attack in. You attach a bunch of energies, power up a bunch of Pokemon, but then you put those energies onto somebody, you don't attack, and your opponent pulls them, gets the kill, you lose all the energies. You can run out of gas and run out of energies a lot quicker than you might think if you're not careful. So you gotta keep track. You gotta be a little bit conservative, perhaps. So, let's see. So, so far it's just the EX Moon. There's the new one, too. I'm gonna show you guys a deck with that guy, too. Like a sort of turbo Roaring Moon. <clears throat> Excuse me. A turbo regular Roar and Moon deck where you just want to discard a lot of agent cards and just do a lot of damage using a regular Pokemon. Should be cool. So it's gonna go for E or no. That's fine, I guess. Um and I mean because of my 110 HP he can get the kill without really Well actually no, I survived with 10, so he's gonna have to discard the stadium. There's no way he's gonna go for the gouging attack but you know eventually I think I, I will be in a better position than this guy uh, they sort of struggle a little bit more to get energies they sort of rely on Sada they got the dark patch too but when we just get energies through an attack two of them too with Miraidon I'm good especially because I got that electric generator too wow he couldn't attack god damn yeah, okay that's a uh, Big thing for me. Gonna get my tool using your stadium. Sort of avoided doing that before because, you know, I don't, 
I don't ever want to be in a position where this guy tries and get me stuck and um, you know I don't have that outlet so I try not to just use them if I'm not gonna do significant damage like I need that extra 20 for a specific 2 he KO 1 he KO okay so I guess what we're gonna do is I'm going to hmm I'm going to I mean I guess I didn't really need to attach the tool but anyway we're just gonna do a hundred we'll see what he does if he wants to pull or whatever next turn get more energies and power up more of my guys I'll, I'll put it on the active just in case he just pulls or something just spread them around but basically, at best, that this Roran Mooney X is going to get one KO, and then I'm just going to finish it off with 190 HP. It should be pretty simple. Uh, I can attack with the Hariyama Iron Hands, and then I don't got to attach the tool. Man, it's like with these new, like, alternate versions of the Pokemon, a lot of the, like, new kids, they're going to grow up. Knowing these Pokemon as these guys and not their original names, the original Pokemon they're based on. I guess they can find out and if they include them in the games and stuff, whatever. But it's just so weird. Like even me, I, I try to use their original names, but I end up calling them by their card names. But this is Hariyama, good old Hariyama from Gen 3. You can find it in Victory Road. And if you didn't evolve or see... Uh, any of the Makuhitas that evolved, like through the trainers that use them when you rebattle them or you train your own, that's the first time you're going to see it, new Pokemon. Man, good times. The thing is with those Gen 3 games, it, it was all up to your discovery with the Pokemon and it was just wonderful. And they were very like specific with the Pokemon, like the Pokemon they would use. Like, Think of the Maxi and Archie battle, the first time you battle them and Mountain Pure or Mountain Pyre. You know, once again, if you didn't evolve your own Zubad or Puchiena to Mightyena, you know, it's the first time you sort of see them. It's kind of a cool, cool thing. And same for Camerupt and uh, Sharpedo, I guess. You definitely won't be having those. Uh, okay. So I'm going to kill the dude. Um, he got his prize and I guess he went for the attack but at the end of the day we got the better value here so excellent I got the lead and you know he has to pull the EX Pokemon to just sort of really get back in the game if he's killing these regular guys he's not going to go far so it doesn't seem like uh, there's the Small Roran Moon. I haven't seen it yet. I mean, it'd be fine. I can kill that thing too. But I mean, with the tool, it would actually survive against my guys. Hariyama only gets this bonus for an EX. I sort of have him, but people might argue what's even the point. Uh, like, the... Miraidon does 160 straight up. This guy needs to do... Once he does 160 if you hit a V or an EX. The first attack is worse. He has a little bit better HP, but does it really matter? But I just have him, I guess, if I'm going to use a Lightning Attacker, not the EX, use this guy. You know. Not commit Miraidon. Okay, so gets the kill once again keeping up or trying to keep up and uh, hmm I guess what we need to do now is I'm um, gonna make a big attack and then let's see discard the oak and we will get the EX and uh, I guess get the double EX actually or the regular one man it just looks so similar so i won't play the other one down i'll play me right on just in case we 
we might have to attack. I'm doing 220, so yeah, I just, if I attack with the other one, I can kill while getting energies. But, hmm, it's kind of rough. All of my supporters won't be very effective. I'll just draw two with Cynthia, but that wasn't very good. Didn't even see an energy. But I mean, Iono wouldn't be good. Oak obviously wouldn't be good. I want to keep my tools. So we're just going to do 220, and then... I'm going to need to dig out an energy next turn somehow. Yeah, it kind of sucks a little bit. I'm giving him a chance to sort of come back. Uh, I still think I'm in a really good position. Uh, if he wants to attack with this moon. You know. He's going to let him to die. I mean, if he retreats, I guess it makes sense. The other one is powered up. If I if I have just um, if I just power up Hariyama X, Iron Hands X, we just need to do Ampu very much on that thing, pull it, and then I just win. So, I'd like to do that, but I don't have the energies yet. We need to get a few energy uh, electric generators going. Okay, so he pulls the bonnet. It's actually not that great of a move is actually helping me here because uh, I can one hit KO that thing while getting energies and then I don't even need to worry about Ampy very much can just pull that other dude and just win so I think right now there's only one thing for me to do play all the tools down okay we did top deck an energy but I think I, I'll still have to just use oak put the tools and, uh, yeah, I think that's the only thing we can do. Go for the oak, draw a bunch of stuff. I just want to dig out, like, a boss's orders, the A-spec catcher. Is it called prime, prime catcher? Yeah, I was going to say divine catcher, but that'd be too, too fancy. There we go. Okay. So this in my hand, get the kill right now. And um, all I got to do next turn is just use the Divine Catcher and then I just win. Just barely enough energies. Put that on the dude. But, I mean, it's fine either way. As long as he doesn't mess with my hand, it doesn't matter what he kills. Uh, I do enough damage to kill the hurt one. Okay, so he promoted the Morpego. And he's definitely going to use the fresh one to attack. Place another one down. But, I mean, I got this game in the bag. He has a low hand size, so I doubt he would want to use Yuno himself. But it'd be the correct move to do if you can do that. So he's going to promote the fresh one. I guess he's thinking he's alright. But all I got to do is just use the catcher. The prime catcher. Yeah, they definitely look like... Um, they took some notes from the designs from the A specs in the black and white era. You know, the sort of uh, design, the border. They got their differences, but they definitely look like A specs of that variety. <laughs> okay, so all I gotta do is just pull, put the third energy, and uh, we basically win. Easy stuff. So that's the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. He goes GG as well. Yeah, GG, buddy. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What I...